quick little update video of the five pocket ATC I've been working on. Um, now I can actually run it with all the uh, the tools in it. So this is going to get replaced to a nicer one. Um, it's probably the prototype 15, um, and I still need to finish manufacturing the the chip guard. Um, on the software, I made a lot of updates. I've got a little program that's just going to go change all the 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 tools. We'll do six different tool changes and then just pause after the tool change. Um, the way I set this up now is you assign your pockets and the program start and you decide if you want manual mode or ATC mode. That's all you have to mess with. Everything else is uh, uh, pre pre programmed. You can see if I scroll down a little bit, there's the the fifth pocket tool nine. They're all labeled the different pockets up here and then the tools as well there. So um, it's all home. So if I just hit go, I'm going to get a bunch of messages. Um, the first thing it's going to do is go to a safe unload position to get the probe out. So the first thing that usually I would do when setting up a stock is, you know, probe it to the zero. So I get a little message, remove, remove the probe. So I'll just do that right now. The button, take it out, continue, and it actually opens the, the spindle. It's just going to do a couple of checks. Is the tool on? No, but whatever. Is the air main valve open? That's the uh, the uh, compressor that is on. Is the mist air on? No, I can ignore all this. I just added these to be safe. Did I? home the ATC after loading the tools. That's kind of important to make sure it's lined up. I did. Now what it's going to do is it'll go through the, uh, should go get all five of them. And, uh, let's see. I'm going to have to do some work to move the mist cooling out of the way. I couldn't do this on the previous one because I had a, a plastic plate here that was just 3D printed. Now it's carbon fiber plate. So you see it's going to go get the first tool, move it out of the way, and go back to the zero. It's going to pause there. I just put a little pause in the code so I would make sure it went to the, the zero so my tool table was correct. Um, one of the challenges with this is I'm running the mist off the same compressor tank as the um, the power draw bar. So what I'll probably have to do is um, put a dwell command in there, just wait a couple minutes to make sure that it's, uh, there's enough pressure in the tank in case it's low when it when it does the tool change. You can see it's gonna go grab. Next one, it took a little bit of while to get this heat up so those wouldn't touch. And the, what this red thing is going to do when I get there is this will actuate that curved side. It'll open a door out. The door will actually open this way out. And on the other side, it'll uh, actuate in. Um, so next tool. And uh, what I'd probably like to do, and I'll do this maybe when I upgrade the frame, is move the motor out of the way to the, basically put everything on the other side, because once I get that chip card up here, uh, I'm gonna want that side free. Um, the nice thing about this is there's actually some stops here and here, uh, and there's just four bolts keeping it on. So that if you wanna take it off, all I have to do Unbolt those four bolts and unplug the the um, uh, stepper motor. I'm not doing any cuts yet, just because I don't have a chip card, so I don't really know what that's going to do. And I'm replacing this green one with the much better one, as I mentioned before, and that's on the 3D printer uh, right now. I'll have to make a better video once it's uh, all going. It definitely, the tool table works. I mean, here's a little example I made out of an aluminum block in manual mode. 
um, just drilled some holes and then used a thread mill and uh, kind of dialed in the, the thread mill offset to get these screws in. So I got a couple parts I'm going to make that need, um, you know, dozens of holes, uh, uh, threaded, threaded holes. So. Christmas tree version of the ATC. Thinking about maybe homing it between each tool change as well, just in case it gets jogged or, um, you know, knocked a little out of alignment. Now, one thing I did do to align it probably. 10 prototypes of a little piece like this, which actually goes over the end of the, the tool holder and goes up in the mill and sits there so that you can line up the, the center point of the, uh, so you can line up the center point of the, the stepper motor with, you know, perfectly on the 45 degree angle so that all you really need to do is dial in moving this in, you know, how much you move it in and how much to rotate it and then center it around. The, the center pocket. So that was the last tool. Um, I don't know why it's not um, putting the final tool away. I'll have to look at the code, but frankly, it's probably a good thing it doesn't put it away. And I may just leave it because I don't want to leave the. Um, I, I don't want to leave the, the, the tool with the, you know, the power draw bar um, tightened without something in there. So it's probably good just to leave the last one and then you can reload it later. But anyway, that's the, I don't know, probably version 20 or 15 or some ridiculous number with lots of little improvements. So it's almost ready to go uh, and kind of run with guts.